Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial and I'm going to be showing you how to use the detach feature. Uh, so we're going to go ahead, I already have a uh, glass that I want to go ahead and open. So we'll go ahead and open that. Uh, I created this in millimeters and uh, it's basically a, uh, I'll, we'll, we'll get to it. I'm going to revolve these shapes uh, so we're going to go to the design. Let's control minus to zoom out. Go to the design. Control minus. So basically you have a shape like this that you want to revolve. This is going to be like a wine glass. And this is going to be the contents of wine. So what you can do is go ahead and um, go to pull. And then we're going to select both of these. And then we're going to do a uh, revolve. So we'll click there. And then we're going to click this area there to revolve from then we're going to do full pull okay so now you have this uh, kind of a wine glass and then you have wine in here that you can't really do anything with um, can't really move it because it'll just you'll just shrink it so if you did want to have these components the only thing you the only thing you have to do is right mouse click and there's this little detach here so you click detach and now this is a separate piece and the inside is also a separate piece so now you have um, basically your your empty you have your empty wine glass and you have your uh, wine uh, top here so What you could do is move that. I'm going to go up to here. Now you have the contents of the wine and the wine glass. So um, that's kind of handy to, to be able to do that, to detach the stuff. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way. Yeah, so now you have um, you know, your, your components of your revolved object. And you can do detach on anything that's a, a closed surface. I'll give you an example. Like if we created a uh, a sphere here, or actually a um, a solid. Go ahead and bl blow that up. Right mouse click. Might right mouse click detach. And now you have um, a similar shape. You have an open container. Go this. that's uh, handy to be able to do that. You can do the same thing with a square. Go ahead and create a square. And then we'll go ahead and spin this. And then you give the, give the square some depth. Now you can go ahead and right mouse click on any of these surfaces. Right mouse click, detach. And now you basically have a hollow You can adjust that. You have to do the same thing if you want to take this part off. You have to detach. And now it's removed it. So now you have pieces of this of this uh, box here. So you can do that with anything. Um, create a really long rectangle. Go ahead and pull that. Uh, if you wanted to detach that piece, right mouse click, detach, then go to your move, and then you get that, move that piece out of the way. Now you have an open, open container. And then keep detaching, and you'll get the, you'll get pieces detach. And you know there could be let's undo that let's go and click here move uh, and there could be a reason you want to do that I mean for example if you wanted to maybe you wanted to pull this stuff in a little bit but not all the way you can go ahead and uh, specify or well, let's go minus two put minus two there so you move that in minus two and then you spin that around and then punch in two here 
or actually undo that's minus two as well uh, and then you could do the same here or actually just two so now you have something like this and then you could do the same on the bottom you could pull that too so now you have something like this so it is useful to be able to um, detach the contents uh, when necessary because um, you, you know you can do that with the uh, different shapes too like you'd be able to do that with a you know an octagon like this or a polygon you could go ahead and uh, if you wanted to take that piece off you can go right mouse click detach and then you move this out of the way grab the blue now you have a little open area there do the same on the top there you could detach go ahead and move that out of the area now you have this shape here then um, you could go around and add add depth to this if you were pulling it now you have a shape like this and then you can get rid of these pieces if you didn't need them they weren't part of if you were just trying to create this shape here now you got it um, this would be kind of a difficult shape to create if you uh, well I guess it wouldn't be I mean uh, all you have to do is draw this shape there and then uh, extrude it but you have the ability to detach so you could actually go to this polygon here and you could create uh, say no, I don't know, eight sides. You can create an eight sided one, give it some uh, extrusion depth. Now you could do the same thing here. Go ahead and hold down control to get both. You could uh, detach, move these, delete these. And then you could do the same on the top there. Detach, get rid of the top. Now you have this shape here and then you can go two and then uh, get rid of that one now you have this shape and then you could pull these little ends here to where they intersect now you've got a shape like this so you can use that detach for a lot of different uh, different ideas that you might uh, want to do with uh, Design Spark Mechanical. Just remember that um, that's available there, and you can always detach anything. Uh, if you've got a solid circle, you can detach. Um, if you have a square, you can detach. Um, an odd shape, you'd be able to detach from different angles then we'll pull that and you could do the same here so if it's an odd, odd angle you could go ahead and get rid of it just get rid of it by detaching and then deleting and then do the same with the top here detach then deleting and now you have a shape like this and then you could add depth to that to all these so works good for something if you were uh, developing like a sheet metal this would be a good a good feature to use your detach let's go ahead and delete all those uh, we'll go back to our um, our drawing here. Go to the front view. Go to the front view. 
Uh, now we could go ahead and uh, if you were doing something in uh, sheet metal, you would be able to use that feature. Um, so it's handy to have. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial on uh, how to create, how to use your detach feature to detach uh, uh, surfaces from a circle, from uh, extruded circle, extruded square, uh, extruded. Uh, I think we use the um, polygon, octagon. Uh, so yeah, keep in mind uh, with Design Sparks if you do want to create a shape like that, it's really easy to do using the detach feature. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial. Uh, hopefully you got some useful tips out of that, out of the video, and I thank you for watching.